Hi and welcome to ESA Presents. Literacy and Numeracy Resources in Scoodle. My name's Lee Murphy and I'm the User Engagement Manager here at Education Services Australia. It's Literacy and Numeracy Week uh, here in Australia currently and uh, we thought we'd talk to you a little bit about uh, some of the resources available to help support your literacy and numeracy folks in your classroom um, through Scoodle. Scoodle is a national repository of digital learning resources. Uh, the way it's organised and set out is uh, according to the Australian curriculum. Um, you can search for a title of uh, perhaps a, a language convention or something that you're interested in talking about in your classroom or you can go directly to the Australian curriculum and search for resources by clicking into here. So now you can see that up on the screen I have the Australian curriculum rolled out in front of me um, by year level. So I've got foundation, year one, um, I've got the language, literature and literacy uh, conventions there and all of the actual content descriptions below. I can go through and filter over the, on the left hand side um, so that my search is a little bit more um, specific. So say I'm a Year three, four teacher. I'll apply my filter to that, uh, and I can also do so uh, further down the general capabilities and cross curriculum priorities also. Um, but I'll leave it at that for the moment. I'll apply my filter, and now I have the year three and four content descriptions for English. Uh, I'm going to specify again my search, and I'm going to look down and see um, one of the content descriptions. So there you have the elaboration um, and we can look in further. You, you'll see a curriculum code that we have here for all of the individual content descriptions. Now this one's relevant to the Australian Curriculum website. If you click onto that one, that's what you'll be directed to, the Australian Curriculum website, where you'll see a little bit more information about that elaboration um, and content description. Uh, and as it pops up, you'll see um, some more information uh, about that, but also where that you can discover resources or discuss um, this particular part of the curriculum um, in either Scoodle Community, uh, a network, a professional learning network for Australian educators to talk and ask questions about um, curriculum and uh, teaching and learning, um, and then Scoodle again, the, the resource repository. So I'm going to go ahead and click on to find resources in Scoodle. And you'll see a line to that content description, I have um, returned 60 classroom resources relevant to that specific area. So one of the great things that I can do is I can go ahead and I can select a number of resources that I find that are relevant to a specific focus that I'm thinking of. and that I want to offer to my students. Okay, so I found three there that I felt were great learning resources that might be shared in a package. So now I can uh, make them a learning path. Uh, I can categorize that so I can find it later myself, or I can make this a publicly viewable uh, learning tool for others to access. And that's the great part about Scoodle. There's uh, over 350,000 educators that are registered and using Scoodle and the great part is that there's so much collaboration in terms of um, curating content relevant and uh, useful to classroom practice. And so many teachers are coming in and creating these learning paths are also making them accessible to other teachers and you can go through and I'm going to show you how you can find other learning paths that are already established very shortly. Um, I'll leave it at that for a moment and I'll make that my learning path. Um, I have success. Now I'll see my learning path pop up. You'll see in here, just going to zoom in a little bit. You can see in here that I am provided with a URL. Um, this URL is um, just uh, to allow access to this learning path only. So if you want to allow your students to come in here um, without going through the whole repository of Scoodle resources um, or needing to log in as, as teachers do, um, you can provide them with this URL 
or you can use this uh, pin, student pin as well. So I'm going to copy that student pin and go to another browser. And you'll see um, when you go to the school homepage, um, there is a login section for teachers, but there's also a student login section there too. Um, so I'm going to go to the student login section and pop in my pin. And when I do that, I see just the learning path that I've just created there with the three resources that I have. Now, I didn't show you just then, but teachers also have the ability to create and to edit these learning paths. Uh, and what you can do with that is you can edit the description that's listed there. If you um, want to focus on something particular within the resource, or you can add a comment. And what people do within that comment section is they'll add their own learning activities for the students. So as well as providing the resource for them to access and go in and uh, go through, uh, you can tailor and organize the way that you'd like to use it and provide that to students in this way. So it makes it an interactive resource that can be used um, in that sense too. Um, I'm also going to show you, I just mentioned earlier, the thousands and thousands of learning paths that are already developed in, in Scoodle. Um, by the great teachers who uh, use it regularly and you can search like we did before by the Australian curriculum um, you can search individually by A to Z uh, and that is a, a large uh, number of search terms that you can go through and, and um, uh, look at curriculum line to those areas but also you can search by learning paths and these are the collections of uh, learning resources that teachers have um, produced if I go in and search by learning paths I can here, search again by title, learning area, um, contributor. If you're a, someone in a school and you know other people that are using it, um, you might be able to search by them or the tags. I'm just going to search um, English because uh, we're focusing on University and Literacy Week. Um, and I'll look in here at um, the title. Do I have one that I want to show you? So uh, we have one here called Curriculum Cards English learning path. If I did go to English um, in terms of learning area, I'll just show you quickly um, how many have come up. There we go. So I have um, developed just by uh, Australian teachers in here um, 406 learning paths developed uh, associated with English to different factors and they're labelled in different ways. So someone's got um, 11A for their class, um, we've got 3F, we've got 9 English, we've got um, other sections looking at focused areas of um, uh, English curriculum, so action verbs, so um, language conventions, um, literacy and literature. Um, and you can go through and uh, search for more specifically the areas of interest that you have as well. I'll go back to one that I want to showcase for you because there's a couple of our favourite English resources in there. So curriculum cards, we've done some Scoodle curriculum cards focusing on all the different curriculum areas and these are a couple of the favourite ones that we like um, to showcase for you. So English for the Australian curriculum. And you can see here that we've got early years primary secondary focus. Um, uh, teaching resources here that focus on the uh, instructional discussions and uh, ways to teach uh, literacy in Australian classrooms. So this was a really good teaching resource. I'll go back for a moment and showcase a student resource. So we've got three uh, student resources here that are great. We've got Inanimate Alice, um, for those of you that might be familiar with that one. Um, this is, one, is, a, is a brilliant um, or multimodal um, text and animation that uh, talks all about storytelling um, and is a really interactive uh, um, resource for students to engage with and I think it was uh, for students around five years level, five to ten. Um, so this one's a, a terrific resource that you should definitely check out. It's loading a little slowly for me a minute um, while I'm learning that download. Uh, there's also another a huge number of um, TLF uh, learning items um, that are interactive lessons. Um, this one 
you show and tell that cat uh, is a is a cartoon um, talking about grouping nouns and verbs um, and phrases uh, in order to create your own factual recounts. Um, and then again down the bottom we have um, text types and looking at editorials. So there's a number of resources that are tailored for said language conventions, um, literacy focus, and uh, also literature as a, as a whole as well. So brilliant ones, obviously from Adam at Palace is there. So this is just showcasing, um, and this is episode one, China. There are a number of different ones, but uh, the story uses images, text, and sounds, um, as well as being interactive through the story. I'll leave that one there for the moment, but um, you can see it's a really engaging uh, resource and um, will certainly get your students thinking and, uh, and prompts and excellent um, writing of their own, I'm, I'm absolutely sure. Uh, we also, just in reference to numeracy as well, we have uh, the Australian curriculum areas and we've got mathematics there that's searchable in the same fashion as earlier. You can certainly go through uh, and find the content descriptions that you are looking to discuss or work through in your classroom, um, this certainly can be a point of call even to make sure that you are addressing the curriculum as a starting point. Um, fractions and decimals to grade five sixes, remember this, teaching that well. Um, you've got again the content description um, there for you to help you work through it. Uh, you've got your elaborations and matching resources that you can find specifically focusing on that content description. So you can see up the top of the page, um, you, it says compare and order common unit fractions and locate and represent them on a number line so you know what you're actually looking to teach and then there are support resources to help with that exactly. Uh, you can change the way that you view them so you can see them as an image if you're more interested in. You can find um, classroom resources and teacher resources and specify those um, and you can even look through and categorise by the different resource type and you can filter and refine your searches again. There's a number of ways for you to really uh, be able to find uh, and trawl through the over 25,000 um, digital learning resources uh, which are set here um, ready for Australian teachers uh, when they need them. Um, this has been Lee Murphy uh, talking for Education Services Australia. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, presentation and you can find a load more resources and uh, discussions and topics uh, all on uh, live.scoodle.edu.au where we have a heap of resources and, um, and support materials, professional learning to help uh, Australian teachers with teaching and learning. <laughs>